when you come to talk about heart's desires, there's a difference between the desires of our heart that come from our brokenness and our lost identity and our expectations, which may have been placed on us by others, and the desires of our heart that come from aligning our heart with God's heart. And when we're in intimacy and when we resonate with the heart of God and our heart's desires are aligned to God's heart's desires, then then we can focus our intention, which is an intention is the desire and the motivation for those desires to be at work. And therefore, we can choose the reality where those desires are fulfilled. Um, and of course, we know that in hope deferred makes the heart sick, but things fulfilled as like a tree of life. So God wants the desires of our heart to be fulfilled but when they're aligned to his not that when they're aligned to our own brokenness and when our desires may came out of lack may come out of unmet needs in our past in our childhood in our relationships any issues which are coming from brokenness fragmented fragmented capsule and particularly from lost identity and from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil of course those desires are not going to be aligned to god's heart for us and therefore we can force those desires or want those desires fulfilled but i'm really talking about intention is actually what god desires for us and our desire and intention to agree with that and then focus that intention to choose for that to come into reality and therefore that's to do with quantum physics observing the reality of those desires from god's perspective choosing for those desires to manifest light collapsing the quantum wave function into manifestation and then those things falling around our lives now obviously you can't set the desires of your heart in such a way that you try and control and manipulate somebody else you have to deal with you and it has to be our intention to bring about that which god desires for us you know, and I look at my own life and look at my life from what I desired for my future was to have my relationship with God to continue and live on my own. God desired that I'd have a relationship with somebody else. Therefore, he had to change my mind and my heart to desire what he desired, which I didn't want that. Too much hassle from my perspective and too much history of the past, which I didn't want to repeat. So I was happy to settle for where I was. God had other things in mind so god changed my desire i agreed with him and accepted that my thinking was wrong and i had to choose to align with his desire then i then released that intention to find the person that he wanted me to engage with so i engaged him which is what i shared you know previously in various formats <laughs> so in in a sense practically it means choosing the reality that aligns to the father's heart with no double mindedness, doubt or unbelief. If you're double minded, you're unstable and you won't ever see anything manifested other than what you already have memory of from the past. If you want to see the future different from the past, you've got to look into what God's desire for the future is for you and choose that discipleship in with god is god bringing me into an alignment with the desires of his heart for me revealing them showing me who i am revealing my identity and then my choices are going to be aligned to my identity and my destiny i'm not going to choose things outside of who he made me to be and the vast sum of his thoughts about me so i'm going to enter into his mind and agree with him which is going to renew my mind it's going to be getting me out of the mold that i've been placed in by the past um so you gotta i guess look at the desires of your heart in relation to god's desires for you and see what aligns and what don't and don't just make the assumption that the desires of your heart are god's desires for you because they may not be make sure you engage the father so the father can reveal his desires for you brood there in his heart engage the cradle of life and brood so you become a, and a resonant frequency that can speak with his voice and then when you speak that into being you have authority to bring about that focused intention so that it begins to manifest around your life and of course he wants to disciple us and even jesus was discipled by the spirit it's like you know morning by morning he woke woke with the ears of a disciple to listen to the father's voice 
to listen to the voice of, of Jesus, to listen to him, uh, my sheep will hear my voice. That's what discipleship is, is hearing his voice and following him in relationship and walking with him day by day in intimacy.